Toxic Home Conscious Home by Dr. Rob Brown. So, you're looking at three parts, 12 chapters. There's a lot of information in this one. So, very, like, I found it kind of inform informative. It, like, there's one little section that he tells the difference between a toxin and a toxigen. Each tap chapter talks about a realm of the home as well about like water, air, food. It goes into like feng shui later. So like the physical and like the feeling of everything. It's, as I said, very informative. It seems well researched. But it can be easily understood and all the like the research done isn't from say like 2000 or like 2006 it is very very recent you're looking like some of the items that is stated are from like 2010, 2016, and 2017 even. So fairly new within the last de decade. And when within the last year, you got information that he puts into the book. So there's like stats and terms explained and put throughout the book. You got like figures and tables like the categories of like different plastics like you know how there's like that little triangle with the arrows and the number in it that's one of the tables and then like with water you got like different types of water and explains and there's other information as well and with air one thing he talks about is like indoor air and like pollutants like if you do if you have if you use candles or like with mold mold can cause an issue as well so and like with food what products like meat beans go through and like how to prepare them properly and there's a there's a few other sections of information as well and talks about processed foods, sweeteners, items used in your, like, in your kitchen, like, pots, and, like, which aluminum pot would be good or bad, <laughs> which one is the better, like, of these two different types of aluminum pots, and does go through other items, it goes through, like, cleaning and cleaning products, and, like, how to clean things. There's also personal care as well, talked about. Part three is about energy and spirit. So you're looking at what could be causing a toxic home. You got your physical surroundings and then your internal kind of like energy kind of thing. So you got like sound, electrochromatic fields, light, feng shui, meditation, Kind of different other things the electromagnetic magnetic fields are not just like your ta your tablets or your phones you got like the computer games and the microwave anything that has an electric current in it basically sound like with when they he talks about sound you got like prayer entertainment like the loud noises or and whatever so it isn't just like, here's all the bad shiz that some books may go through. But he talks about, your better choice is glass. Here's the better aluminum pot if you want aluminum. But he, he off, offers other alternatives that aren't too like new agey for a lot of people. It's just like replacements and... Uh, like, and like different things like to do and stuff. So, 
it is very informative, but for some people, like the the third part may be a little too new agey for some people, and that might might turn them off of reading this book because they want the straight up facts, not this wishy washy kind of thing. But with the third the third part, there is a good amount of information in there that can make sense to those people and yeah for me it yeah it's not the end all be all book about having like a toxic home conscious home as the title suggests but it is saying these are things out there that are on those two sides so it is researched and it isn't oh here's a few bits of information and it goes into weird explanations of them it's here are the facts about these and here's how to do them or here's stuff about them but yeah it is a very like put together book and worth having a look into. So Toxic Home, Conscience Home by Dr. Rob Brown. Happy readings.